Hello shooters and airsofters. Now, our topic for today is the Shotmax Timer 2. So, let's get started. So, before we start the review, I just want you to know that I'm not going to dig deep about the Shotmax Timer because there is already a existing review from Double Alpha. So, you can check it out. So, I'm gonna put the link below. Um, anyway, we're gonna focus on the airsoft side. So, how can you use this in airsoft? So, you can train like T-Rex Arms, Lucas, or Liku from Japan. So, personally, I use this for my airsoft training or airsoft practical shooting training because it works perfectly. I guess this is the best that you can use for airsoft practical shooting timer for airsoft so okay let's start so originally uh, I just bought this skin for the shot max so it will protect my watch so I'm gonna show you what it looks like without the skin the skin is not that sexy it looks bulky but it will surely protect your watch so here so you see this this is a, a screen protector a acetate so it has a lot of scratches so good job at the screen protector and I don't put it that good so it's it's kind of ugly so here you go shot max double alpha Anyway, this, I'm gonna show you the settings that I use for airsoft practical shooting. So let's go to the... This is the volume. Uh, in real steel shooting, uh, they max the volume because you're using a ear protection. But for airsoft, you can just set it uh, anything that you want. Usually, I set it up on 4 or 5. Sometimes if it is noisy, six, but four, four or five, that works for me. It depends on you. Uh, here, here is the cool part about the shot max compared to the other timer. It has a two sets of mode how to capture your time, which is the accelerometer and the mic. So the screen is not broken. It's just like that. If I'm training alone, I usually use the accelerometer but if I have a friend that he wants to uh, he wants also to get his time I use the mic but usually I use the accelerometer uh, accelerometer it will get your time by the vibration or movement so I'll gonna show to you later how it works so next the sensitivity uh, usually the sensitivity I set it up on 6, 7 or 8 it depends on the uh, GBB that you're using or EBB that you're, you are using if you're using a AEG good luck to you uh, because your time won't capture by this watch but if you're using a EBB gas blowback absolutely it will be captured um if you're using a uh, regular blowback pistols or rifles, uh, 6 or 7 will do the trick. But if you have a very uh, minimal recoil like my pistol, uh, my pistol has a AIP high speed loading nozzle set. So my recoil is a little little to nothing so I set it up on 8 that's for accelerometer so for the sound or mic uh, it depends on you so just kindly adjust it in your needs sometimes if the place is noisy you can adjust it a little uh, less sensitive the higher the number the more sensitive it will get if your gun is very loud or it has a high recoil or heavy recoil you can set the sensitivity a little uh, 6 to 7 like I said but if it is a little soft soft shooting or a little 
quieter compared to the other GBB, you can set it up on around 8, sometimes 9. Okay. So that's it that you can use on Airsoft. Let me demo to you the this watch. Okay. Uh, I forgot to mention, if I'm practicing alone, I'm always setting the timer to random here. The R. So it will uh, beep randomly. So let's try it. So it is already set up in random. Okay. Let's try it with this chamber check. Yes, it's not loaded. Okay. Firing. See the time? First shot. Second shot. Double tap. So that is for the accelerometer. So now you can review the time. Yeah, it captures all of the time. So if you want to set it up for mic, so if you have a friend that also shoots, you can capture his time. Mic, there you go. So, or maybe if you want to shoot a strong hand only, you can capture it using the mic. So let's start it. See? The time is captured. That is the cool thing about this watch. So if you want to train alone, this is one of the best uh, gadgets that you can get for your training. Um, the only downside of this watch is it also captures your reload, sometimes your extra movements, especially when you're using the accelerometer. Um, you cannot avoid it because uh, accelerometer captures the movement or vibration of of the of the watch so if you're doing reloads probably it will captured by the accelerometer so that will be a little pain in the ass at the start but you will get used to it so you should have an idea where you're gonna reload so you can uh, check the time for me the reloading it's not a big deal you're gonna get used to it for me this is still the best timer that you can get for your uh, airsoft practical shooting training especially when you're training alone so that's only one of the problems that I I've encountered but overall I really really love this watch and I'm not gonna sell this one this is for keeps Especially that uh, Double Alpha also offer a lifetime, if I'm not mistaken, a extended warranty or lifetime warranty for those who bought it around 2017, I guess, I can't remember it. I'm just gonna show it in the link. So yeah, uh, I love this watch. I hope they also create another next watch for this with more airsoft features. The airsoft community will love this. So guys, train hard, and I hope you learned something from this. Thanks guys. Shooting ready? Stand by.